That right there is the Apple Watch Ultra 2. That's the newest version of their top watch that came out just a few months ago, same time as the iPhone 15, which I'm currently filming on. If you wanna go see that review, previous five videos now, because obviously I've done the exercise, workout, fitness videos in between those. But you know, I got this watch for using, so I thought I might as well chuck a review of that. You will notice a major difference with this video versus the previous one is that right there, microphone. I said I needed to get that, I got that, massive difference. But let's check this watch out. Now you'll see the Ultra 2 as opposed to, I mean, I don't know if you've got like the normal series nine, eight, seven, whatever. This is the outdoors watch basically. So it's built a lot stronger than the standard. The standard one you'll know comes in aluminum or you can pay more to get the stainless steel. Of course, this one's stock comes in titanium, which I got because it matches the phone. I didn't really need the most rugged version of it, but I like to get the most expensive version of it because it just feels better overall to have. But that right there is a titanium, only comes in one color. Cho choice of straps, I got the trail strap there because it's easiest to sort of, you know, on and off, really simple. That's what I like to have. And, you know, it does match the thing overall. I didn't want to get the other ones because it's like plastic bands and all that sort of stuff. It's kind of crap, but you know, we like to have this sort of stuff. My main use of this watch, which is probably the best feature, I would say, is what I'm doing right now. You can see right there, using it as a viewfinder. I've had to use TVs and laptops, you know, MacBook and whatever that's hanging around as a viewfinder, because obviously you've got to use those back cameras to get the best results and you can't see yourself on the other side. So viewfinder, massive, massive difference. And also being able to record, stop the video in between has been really good to actually speed up the editing process because I can just press record as soon as I'm in position instead of pressing record, going behind the camera, having to cut that piece out. So that is what makes the biggest difference. Now this watch here is like I said, the top range model. I've also got the GPS installed and the SIM card as well. So it works worldwide anywhere you go. Being that top model, it was, what was it? I think $1,500, so almost the cost of the actual iPhone itself because it is basically a mini phone. Only difference is I think it's built a lot stronger. So this particular one, the Ultra 2, can drop to a depth of 100 meters underwater, which is pretty crazy considering it's, you know, a full on smart device, it's got like, you know, holes in there for these are uh, speaker and all this sort of stuff speaking of the speaker it doesn't do anything except it gives out a alert signal if i understand correctly if you're in an emergency situation it sends out an alarm that can be heard up to 250 meters away so don't press it by accident because that's probably gonna be very loud you can press it by accident by holding this button right here let me see if i get out of the camera view i put the action button here on the side and what i'm about to do is hold it and I felt that vibrate. And right there, click the siren. I haven't tried it yet because it's gonna be quite loud, but that's pretty much how you access that. We can see here, let me take this off. It's easy to come off. You know, just take the Velcro. Let's have a look. I've just got the standard face. I haven't really tried too much with it yet. Uh, we've got the, uh, what do you call it? The different functions on it. Main thing I've got this for, besides being a viewfinder, is the heart rate monitor. You know, getting into fitness and stuff, really trying to get that better because mine's pretty bad. You can just see there, 100 beats four minutes ago when I started this video. That's pretty unhealthy, to be honest. But that's one feature of it. I've got the action button set to workout. So I choose, you know, what machine I'm using in the gym and just chuck that on, see what's good to go for that. Otherwise, it's got the apps in here, regular apps. I haven't overdone anything in here yet. I've been using the music app a bit, pretty useful, rather than having to connect to the phone. Um, a lot of apps you can install here, I haven't really installed a lot yet. Let's try one of these, got a calculator right there. There you go. Exactly like the iPhone, got all the stuff on it. It's funny this has a calculator because I don't know why you'd use that because I've got the iPad and the iPads, as you would know, don't come with the calculator up on purpose for some reason. Really don't know what the point of that one is, but what's on here. Now the Ultra Watch 2 comes in this large 49 millimeter size. The regular watch 
comes in, I think like 40 and 45 max, I think. So we've got the 49 mil. Looks good to me, because obviously I've got a large size wrist. Most people don't. So this looks giant and out of the ordinary for them. But if you're a big, decent size, then, you know, it does look good. So that's why I went for that. And I do like the titanium color. The good part about the titanium color is it looks particularly good on my skin color. You know, the nice light brown matching across. A lot of people, it probably wouldn't look as good, but you know, that's, which means, you know, that tells me they're probably going to get rid of the titanium for the next one. But overall, that is pretty good. So with this watch, you've got the home button right there, orange button, just clicking that. And this piece right here is the scroller. And normally this scroller makes no sound. It's just fully free loose. But as you get into these sections, like these apps, for example, it makes a click. And when you use particularly the compass app, which I'll show you here, it's got a constant click, click, click sound. So it feels really good quality because you can actually feel the, uh, it's not just a sound, it's actually a solid stopper at each point. So you can actually feel it solid stopping, which is pretty cool. Over here, I've got a third button. So of course you've got the home button, the wheel selector, action button, and this one on the side, let's press this button. Let's see, this button just shows you features. You've got Wi-Fi, um, alarms. Uh, this one right here, find my phone. If I click that, it starts making sounds in the iPhone, finds it straight away. Uh, a few other modes, flashlight, airplane mode, uh, uh, airplay, that sort of stuff. It's even got this mode too. Check this out, I'll click this right here, water. There it is. Press and hold crown to turn off water lock. So watch that. See that? So when you go underwater, I think this just flushes water out of the system. It keeps it and working nicely. Notifications come up at the top. And yeah, you can set the face, whatever face you want. There's a few different options there. I'm just trying to keep it simple so I just kept it on standard like that. And you can customize all these apps at the top there. I've got current temperature, which you can see is 38 degrees Celsius. So pretty hot. Let's go back. I've got a stopwatch timer over here. And obviously the hot and blood oxygen. So very, very decent features overall. It works really well for what I want it to do. I'm not even using close for what it can do. You know, it's got the whole GPS and everything in it. I don't know why I got all that stuff, but you know, just get the top one regardless. Uh, the map works really well, really highly responsive. It works, I would say like, almost like 60% the functionality of the phone realistically. A lot of the stuff that's preset on this is preset because it syncs to the iPhone. So it's got my music from the phone, music settings, uh, previous map locations. I don't think you can really search for anything map wise. Uh, let me have a check. I don't think there's, you can really search, but it does show previous stuff on your phone. Let me try the search function. Okay, apparently I can search. Yeah, I can just type in whatever. Okay. Well, like I said, almost all the features of the phone. So it's actually really good. Let's go to the music app and see. There you go, music. There you go. Got the music. So you just, this just syncs either directly to your headphones. So I've got this to airplay to my headphones, but I prefer it to airplay to the iPhone to my headphones because then you get the EQ settings through the phone. There's no EQ settings through this. They sound very similar, so it's possible it's picking up the iPhone settings, but I don't think so. So it's better still to go through your phone to hear that directly. But that's pretty much all of the information that I'm gonna tell you about this watch because at the end of the day, I'm not actually just your standard tech reviewer. There's plenty of other people who do that sort of stuff. I take this review from a user's perspective, basically, a non-tech person's user's perspective. I mean, I do know quite a bit about tech, but you know, I'm not one of those guys. So I'm gonna be continuing to use this watch. You'll see it in my next, I mean, I'll be using it in the very next um, fat to fit, is what I'm calling it, fat to fit exercise vlogs. So you'll see it in that one next. I hope you've been enjoying those if you have been watching those. I mean, I'm trying to get them a bit more punchy and stuff, but my main reason for doing them is just make myself better overall. So make sure you follow along for that. That's the main content you'll find on my channel. But if I do happen to buy more of this tech type stuff, I'm not 100% because you know, I got the MacBook, I got the iPhone, I got the watch, and I got the iPad before all that. So I don't think I need 
any more tech type stuff. I mean, I probably could maybe even upgrade this lighting setup I've got and all that stuff. If I do more of these videos, if that's what you want to see, let me know actually in the comments, do you want to see more of this format of video or more of the fitness type stuff? Because I'm good either way, I can handle doing both. I mean, I like to still post this anyway, but if you want more of this stuff, definitely let me know and I'll see what I can do in that regard. You know, maybe get some more tech and review some more tech. But otherwise, that is going to be it for this video. So make sure you subscribe if you haven't done so already because I, you know, I think I've got some pretty unique content here and it's constantly going to grow and get better. There's never gonna be a point where it's just standard, this is just what you get. I'm just trying to constantly keep upgrading that and grow this a lot bigger. And trust me when I say there's a lot more that I can do on this channel, which I'm just kind of, uh, you know, sort of playing into a bit first. I'm gonna build up the subscribers a bit before I show you everything that, uh, that I can do, especially not just me, but when it comes to my brother. Once he starts getting on the videos, then you'll see things are gonna be a lot more entertaining. But that's something for happening in the future. Until then, I'll see you on the next video.